welcome to the International Gaming Standard Association's Conversations. The IGSA Conversations are just that. They are conversations between various gaming industry professionals discussing a specific topic. They are intended to be informative and to generate questions. Hi, I'm Peter Derat, IGSA's president, and today we have with us Ethan Power, who is our technical director. Today's conversation is a continue, continuing conversation about one of GSA standards which can be of significant value to suppliers, and this is the Game to System or G2S standard. We will be discussing, discussing today, are there tools to help me actually implement the G2S standard? Note that GSA will also be hosting a one-hour Zoom session with Q&A on how G2S can boost product sales for the suppliers. But today, right now, let's discuss, are there tools to help me implement G2S? Ethan, we've discussed why the game to system or G2S protocol can be beneficial to operators and regulators. We also asked about why suppliers should consider adding G2S to their product lines. However, we haven't really touched on the how. I mean, as a supplier new to G2S, where would I start? Well, if you're new to G2S, the best thing to do first is to learn about it. And the best way to do that is to take advantage of the educational tools and services available through GSA. Well, that, that makes sense. And we touched on the fact that GSA has an online self-based training available through the uh, partner iGaming Academy, as well as the training that you provide on site at the supplier's location directly with the developers, right? Right. The information on, on both the education and training are available on our website, igsa.org. All right. Education is one part, uh, Ethan, but, but then what? Well, as you know, I've conducted quite a few training sessions. In my experience, developers are, really get going pretty quickly, even if they've never seen G2S before. Knowing something about slot machines probably helps a lot too. Yes, I think you've said on several occasions that after three days, they want to kick you out so they can start coding, right? <laughs> that, yeah, that's right. The reality is that for most of the developers today, they find G2S much easier to learn and code than something like SAS. The biggest challenge with G2S is the transport and message handling infrastructure. But once you get that going, the rest is pretty straightforward. Okay, great. But, but not every supplier has a luxury to dedicate developers to work on G2S and, and keep the pipeline of products going out of the door. At the end of the day, they have to keep the lights on, right? Sure, but you don't really need a huge development staff working on G2S. If a supplier has a couple of guys who are familiar with SOAP and web services, they should be able to get it going pretty quickly. The online training course might be enough for them. Uh, okay, I understand. But are there any other options? Um, well, probably another option is to license a G2S stack. Some suppliers have found this appealing. Uh, the supplier licenses the stack and then integrates it into their existing operating system. It's still a bit of work, but can eliminate some of the G2S learning curve. So if I'm correct, there is at least one GSA member company who is providing these G2S stacks for both the slot machine and the slot system side. Yeah, that, that's correct. It's a good option if you have market opportunities, but not the staff to dedicate the ground up direct development. Okay. I can't imagine taking a pre-developed uh, G2S stack and fitting it into existing code. It's exactly simple though, is it? Well, it's not rocket science, but it's probably not a walk in the park either. Um, but there are some tools that can make it more manageable. Oh, are you, do you mean the certification validation tool or what we call CVT? Yes, the, the CVT. And for our purposes today, let's focus on the validation part of that instead of certification. All right, please continue, Ethan. Well, first, it's important to understand that the CVT was developed specifically for GSA by Radical Blue Gaming. The licenses for the tool are obtained from Rad Blue. Yeah, and we recently announced at GSA via press release new functionality, right? And new reduced pricing for that specific tool and some other good stuff. Yes, that will make it a lot easier for developers to get access to the tool. As I said, the CVT was developed for GSA. And it uses test scripts. As test scripts were specifically um, designed to test features of G2S. They were verified and approved by GSA Certification and Interoperability Committee. And the CIC is made up of test engineers from our member companies. They vetted the test to make sure they work correctly. And the scripts are, are not proprietary to any one company, therefore. 
uh, they're owned by GSA and available to our members. Well, that, that's a key point, right, Ethan? I mean, the fact that industry representatives have vetted and approved of test scripts mean there's a high degree of transparency and independence in their development. Yes, that's very true. The CBT is designed to be installed on a PC, connected to a slot machine over a network. Then the tool checks the messages, indicates whether they meet the test requirements. But you got to remember, it's not fully automated. Test engineers still need to do things like opening doors, inserting bills or tickets, cashing out, etc. But, but does the CBT uh, also test uh, systems? It does. There's a system or host component to the CBT as well. The problem with systems is that it can be very difficult to make things happen in them. They tend to be reactive to what's going on with the slot machines. Mm -hmm. It's much easier to trigger specific functionality on a slot machine. Like, like opening a door, for example. Right. So what we, what we do is use a slot machine that pass G2S testing and connect it to the host. If the host messages and responses work with the slot machine, then we can be fairly certain that everything is good. So I guess what you're saying is that the, uh, the CVT provides suppliers functionality that allows them to verify that their uh, G2S implementation is up to spec, regardless of whether they start from scratch or uh, if they use a pre-developed G2S stack. Yeah, that's correct. To make it even simpler, the CVT now comes with a basic G2S reference implementation. This will greatly help developers who are new to G2S. That's, that's real cool, Ethan. I can tell you that, that we've also been working with one of our current members to put together a, a G2S implementation guide, which obviously will be published on our website. Yeah, that's gonna be a good document to have. Mm -hmm. um, the supplier is one of the companies that I trained and have been developing G2S themselves. So, you know, what they experienced is probably what others will experience too. I'm sure there'll be a lot of helpful hints. Okay, great. Uh, so let me try and summarize even what we just discussed. Um, GSA provides uh, training and educational options that vary based on the needs of the individual supplier. Whilst not explicitly difficult to learn or develop, some companies may not have available staff to dedicate to G2S. And, and for them, the pre-developed G2S code stacks are available for purchase or license from GSA member companies. Um, to help off those implementations, uh, 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 implementing in G2S on their own or using pre-developed stacks. GSA, in partnership with Red Blue, provides the CVT, which comes with a G2S reference implementation, and the CVT suite also comes with additional tools. Did I miss anything? I think you got it all. All right, Ethan. Um, thank you very much. This was a great conversation. And to our audience, thank you for listening. Please send us your questions and comments by contacting us. Information on doing so can be found on our website, igsa.org. Until the next conversation, thank you.